I create a lot of side projects and writing components for every single one of them has always been pain in the ass. I didn't want to use Material UI or any other external libraries for your UI components because I've always wanted to have full control of them. So what I used to do is just copy components from one project to the other, for example, a button or an input. And it's not cool, I still have to change a lot of stuff. So I think I finally found the solution and I promise you, by the end of this video, you'll be able to create user interfaces 10 times faster or even more. So let's get into it. So here's the library that, I, that I'm going to talk about today. It's called Shard CN. And from the beginning, I want to tell that it's based on Radix UI, which is a library for creating accessible components. And it's great, in my opinion. It's even better than Headless UI. Of course, it's only my opinion, but it's it comes with a lot of good quality components and also lovely Tailwind UI. I'm sorry, not the Tailwind UI, Tailwind CSS the wrong web page. So it's a mix of two of my favorite libraries for creating user interfaces. And it comes with a lot of basically already created components that you can import into your code base. And it's really important. You're not importing this as a library and you're not importing your components from node modules you keep your components inside your directory. You are basically owner of your components. You can change them as you want and it's great. I can show you some examples. For example, let's look at uh, alert dialog and it's great example, <laughs> example, example, because uh, I used to create them and it would take me like an hour or even two hours to create fully functioning modal or dialog. Right now, I can just import it and use it like in 10 seconds, maybe a minute. And it's great. I can show you an example that I've been using this library to my site project, which is a flashcard learning app with space repetition algorithm. So as you can see here, I have this drop down, and by clicking this option, I can open this dialog I can, for example, ask a new deck, add a new deck, close it, and it works just fine. So I've spent so little time to add this model that it's crazy in my opinion. And I'm really excited. I'm going to keep using this library. So what else can I tell you? Nothing. It's great. Go and check it and use it. And also, if you want to learn how to use React Query inside Next Updir, check out this video. See you in the next one. Bye.